Right now at five, three City of Miami police officers on the other side of the law. Instead of ridding our streets of drugs, which are ravaging our communities, these officers were willing to profit from money laundering and drug trafficking enterprises. Tonight, the officers are off the job, arrested on federal drug charges. Well, investigators say the officers were working to protect drug traffickers. CBS 4's Peter Dench is live tonight in Miami with how this two-month investigation led to the arrest. Peter. Well, Ruta Bay, the FBI is crediting Miami Police Chief George Kalina with alerting them about possible corruption. They launched an investigation and set up a sting operation involving undercover officers. Now, the three cops thought they were actually reportedly escorting and delivering drugs, but instead were involved with being investigated. No one, not even a police officer, is above the law. U.S. Attorney Ariana Fajardo Orshan is alarmed by the charges against these three Miami police officers. Sometimes we have bad seeds in law enforcement. Those officers who dishonor their badge and who endanger the public will be called to answer for the crimes that they commit. The U.S. Attorney says veteran officer Kelvin Harris and officer James Archibald were recruited by officer Shantan Harris. They reportedly took payments to protect individuals involved with money laundering and narcotics trafficking. Instead of ridding our streets of drugs, which are ravaging our communities, these officers were willing to profit from money laundering and drug trafficking enterprises. They were willing to work as armed escorts for drug traffickers in the transportation of cocaine. Orshan says Shantan Harris received $17,000 worth of bribes and also used and dealt narcotics on the job. Kelvin Harris, who is not related to Shantan Harris, and James Archibald were caught in a sting operation after the Miami police chief was alerted about possible corruption. The public can trust that we're going to do the right thing, right? Because someone came forward. If anyone believes that they can work here and wear this uniform and, and break the law and get away with it, you know, that, that's not the case. We will out you. You will be found out, and we will hold you accountable. The U.S. attorney says Kelvin Harris received $10,000 in bribes, and James Archibald was given 6,500 in bribes. Now, in one case, the officers agreed to protect a shipment of some 2,000 opioid pills. The Miami police told me that all three officers will be fired. He could not confirm a published report, though, that a fourth officer who had been cooperating with the authorities will be arrested at a later date. We're live in Miami Police Headquarters, Peter Dench, CBS 4 News.